So it's time for us to look into chapter number three, which is the network management based on Huawei iMaster NCE. Transformation and challenges of the network industry. With the advent of 5G and cloud era, innovative services such as virtual reality and augmented reality, live streaming, and autonomous driving are emerging. And the entire ICT industry is booming. At the same time, the traffic of the entire network also increased explosively. Huawei Global Industry Vision or GIV predict that the amount of new data will reach 180 zettabyte by 2025. And just for your information, one zettabyte is equal to one billion terabyte. So there is a lot of data is being created. Moreover, the dynamic complexity of services make the entire network more complex. So such challenges can only be overcome by construct automated and intelligent network systems centered on user experience. It means that we are keep on increasing and utilizing a lot of data. The traditional way of using CLI and SNMP or web monitoring is dated and is not able to scale to this amount of uh, data growth. So we really need a solution. And the solution is Huawei iMaster NCE. So Huawei iMaster NCE is a network automation and intelligent platform that integrates management, control, analysis and artificial intelligence function. Let's look into this diagram. We have our iMaster NCE that's using open API, which also have intent engine that can do management of your network, similar to eSight. We can do a control such as authentication and iMaster NCE also can do analysis where they can easily find where it's a fault using AI function. All these are cloud-based. So using iMaster NCE, Huawei can use the traditional CLI or SNMP to manage the traditional device. And if your device are SDN capable, then they are going to use the Netcoff or Yang model and the telemetry. I'm going to go through this in more detail later on. So let's look into the point here. In terms of management and control, iMaster NC allow you to first manage and control traditional devices through the traditional CLI and SNMP, as I mentioned over here, and manage and control SDN, SDN stands for Software Defined Network, Capable Network through NetConf, based on Yang model. We will go into the Yang model on the next slide. iMaster NCE collect network data through protocols such as SNMP and telemetry. So I want you to remember this keyword, telemetry. So telemetry is uh, some sort of protocol that can collect information much faster compared to SNMP. So iMaster NC perform intelligent big data analysis based on AI algorithm and display device and network status in multiple dimensions through dashboard and report. Uh, this is important because it gives you very informative information for you to do troubleshooting and help O&M personnel quickly detect and handle device network exceptional and ensure normal running of devices and network. So as you can see that we are still complying with the OSI basic network management model and at the same time it can scale very large with complex topology. So let's look into the NetCoff. As compared to SNMP, NetCoff is a newer way for us to manage our network. NetCoff or network configuration provide a network device management mechanism. You can use NetCoff to add, modify, or delete configuration of network devices and obtain configurations and the status of network devices. If you read this statement, you notice that it's very similar to SNMP, but definitely there are difference between NetCoff and SNMP. NetCoff have three objects, which are NetCoff client, NetCoff server, and NetCoff message. Here we have the iMaster NCE, which is a NetCoff client. This is the iMaster 
as it is a product by Huawei. So going through the network, they use this NetCoff message exchange and we also have the NetCoff server device. So these are the three main object in NetCoff. So NetCoff requires that message exchange between a client and server by encoding using XML. So these are the general overview of NetCoff. Now this is very important slide. We are explaining the difference between the NetCoff SNMP and command line interface. First, we look into the function such as the interface type. NetCoff is a machine to machine interface similar to SNMP except that CLI is a man machine interface because we need a human to key in command there. Now, NetCoff, the interface definition is complete and standard and the interface is easy to control and use. Okay, so there's a characteristic of a NetCoff. Next is the operation efficiency. NetCoff is very high efficiency. Uh, SNMP is a medium efficiency and CLI is low efficiency because NetCoff can able to do a lot faster because it's based on object modeling. Only one interaction is required for object operation. Operations such as filtering and batch processing are supported. So that's why the NetCoff is much more efficient. Next is the scalability. NetCoff is a proprietary protocol, but it can be extended. So NetCoff is much more scalable. SNMP is weak in the scalability and command line interface is moderate. For the transactional function, NetCoff can support transactional processing mechanisms such as trial running, rollback upon error and configuration rollback. SNMP do not support it. Uh, CLI partially support that, especially in the VRP version 8. Then on the function of secure transmission, NetCoff do support security protocol, okay, such as SSH, TLS, BIP slash TLS, and SOAP slash HTTP slash TLS. Whereas for SNMP, I just mentioned earlier on, only version 3 can support the uh, secure transmission. For CLI, we can use the secure shell. So these are the differences between NetCoff, SNMP, and command line interface. How NetCoff interact? So as I said that we have the iMaster NCE, this is our client, and we have the uh, NetCoff server here. So they are using a protocol called RPC or Remote Procedure Call, and the format they are using is XML. So this uh, NetCoff server reply also using the RPC reply. So these are the NetCoff interaction. Now let's look into Yang language overview. Yang stands for yet another next generation. Yang is a data modeling language that standardizes NetCoff data content. The Yang model defines the hierarchical structure of a data and can be used for NetCoff based operation. Modeling objects include configuration, status data, RPC or remote procedure call, and notification. So Yang allows all this to happen. This allows a complete description of all data exchange between a NetCoff client and a server. So what is a model? A model is an abstraction and expression of things. So what is a data model then? A data model is an abstraction and expression of data feature. Yang is a data modeling language. Example, if I'm a person, I have the name. I have a gender, I have a height, weight, age, or skin color. So these are the data model. For a NE, such as a router, these are the data model that the router have, including interface routing, protocol IP address, and routing table. So to give you some idea, the interaction between Yang and NetCoff Let's look into some example. A Yang file is loaded on the NetCoff client. So that will be your network management system and SDN controller. The Yang file is used to convert data into XML format. So this is my Yang file. Okay, as you can see that this is our XML format. And this is our data, this is our data modeling. Okay, so this information, if you add this together, we will have our XML file. And these are our NetCoff messages before they send to the device. 
Now on the on the NetCoff server, this is what happened. A Yang file is loaded on the NetCoff server. In this example here, we have a router or the switch. This is our NetCoff server. The Yang file is used to convert receive XML format. Remember on the previous example, we have an XML format. So XML format with the Yang file, then we have the data. All right, so this is the interaction between the Yang and the XML. Next, we look into the telemetry overview. Telemetry, also called network telemetry, is a technology that remotely collects data from physical or virtual devices at high speed. That is the definition of telemetry. Devices periodically send interface traffic statistics, CPU usage, and memory usage to collect in push mode. Remember that in SNMP, we are using pull mode. So compared with traditional pull mode, the push mode provides faster and more real-time data collection. For example, if I'm using an SNMP, you notice that the time is about more than five minutes. So this is a pulling. So the server, in this case, our NMS, is actually requesting the CPU. The CPU then send this information to the NMS. This is a pool. Whereas using a telemetry, the NMS subscribe to the CPU usage and it will be sent in less than one second. So here we have a subscription and push. The router push the information to the NMS and telemetry support data collection at sub seconds. So we can see here is almost real time. That is the benefit of using telemetry. In this module, with the development of the network technology, more and more network management and ONM method are available. The common method are as follow. So we know that traditionally we use CLI or using HTTP or HTTPS using our web system. Then we also have SNMP, which is version one, version two, and version three. And lastly, we look into the Huawei iMaster NCE, where this is a modern way for us to control, manage, and analyze the network. So iMaster NCE intelligent ONM platform allow us to scale with intelligent. Okay, so that's the end for this module. Thank you for viewing, and I hope to see you on next module. Thank you. Bye.